On October 17, 2024, the Royal Air Force RAF, celebrated a major milestone with the unveiling of its first E-7 Airborne Early Warning and Control AWNC aircraft, produced by Boeing UK, at Southend Airport. This marked the first time the E-7 was painted in RAF livery. The aircraft, designated WT-001, carries the distinctive markings of 8 Squadron, which is slated to operate the wedge tail. The squadron's emblem, a sheathed Arabian dagger known as a Jambia, reflects its historical ties to Arabia, a connection that dates back to its role during World War II, symbolized by a badge approved by King George VI in 1943. In addition to the RAF's roundels, the aircraft also bears the emblem of NATO's Airborne Early Warning and Control Force, NAWNCF, underscoring the UK's contribution to NATO's airborne surveillance mission. The E-7 Wedgetail has been selected as NATO's next-generation command and control aircraft, and the RAF's fleet will bolster NATO's airborne capabilities. After its unveiling, the aircraft returned to STS Aviation Services in Birmingham for further modifications, with additional testing and evaluation scheduled before it enters full service in 2025. This aircraft is set to become the RAF's most advanced airborne surveillance platform, enhancing the UK's situational awareness. Wing Commander McDonnell, officer commanding 8 Squadron, highlighted the significance of the UK's first painted wedge tail, calling it a major step toward achieving operational capability. The RAF's fleet of wedgetails will be based at RAF Lossiemouth in Scotland, alongside the nine Poseidon Maritime Patrol aircraft. Both the wedgetail and Poseidon share the reliable Boeing 737-700 airframe, benefiting from reduced maintenance costs and global supplier support, ensuring the long-term sustainability of these platforms. RAF Lossiemouth has undergone significant infrastructure upgrades to accommodate the wedgetail fleet, including a maintenance facility constructed by McLaughlin and Harvey. This facility, which supports both the Wedgetail and Poseidon aircraft, was officially opened in September 2024 and is expected to provide support for at least 20 years. The project employed over 175 workers, with substantial contributions from five Scottish subcontractors. The UK's journey toward acquiring the E-7 Wedgetail began in October 2018, when the British government engaged in discussions with Boeing to replace its aging E-3D Sentry fleet. This move followed potential collaboration with Australia, which already operated the Wedgetail. Although the decision to bypass a competitive tender drew criticism, including concerns over favoritism toward Boeing, the UK finalized a $1.98 billion deal in March 2019 to purchase five Wedgetail AW-1 aircraft. However, budget concerns surfaced in December 2020, when reports suggested the UK might reduce its Wedgetail order from five to three aircraft. This was confirmed in the 2021 Integrated Defense Review, raising fears that only one aircraft might be available for operational duties at any given time. Yet, in February 2023, Air Chief Marshal Michael Wigston hinted that the order could increase to five, depending on future requirements. Initially, Marshal Aerospace was tasked with airframe modifications, but after its withdrawal in May 2020, Boeing contracted STS Aviation Group's UK division to complete the conversions. Specialists at STS Birmingham have been converting two commercial airliners, with new aircraft under construction. Each conversion is expected to take around 24 months, and the first British Wedgetail completed its maiden flight on September 20, 2024. The remaining aircraft are slated for delivery by 2026. The E-7 Wedgetail is based on the Boeing 737-700ER, but features key modifications for its AWNC role. Its standout feature is the Northrop Grumman multi-role electronically scanned array, Mesa radar, mounted in a distinctive dorsal fin atop the airframe. This radar provides 360-degree coverage, simultaneously tracking both airborne and maritime targets. With a maximum range exceeding 600 kilometers, it operates in all weather conditions and includes an ELINT, electronic intelligence capability with a range of over 850 kilometers. The Mesa radar offers a significant aerodynamic advantage over older systems like the rotating radar of the E-3 Sentry. Its fixed structure has undergone extensive wind tunnel testing to ensure optimal performance with the airframe. The Wedgetail's radar also integrates identification friend or foe IFF capabilities with a range of up to 300 nautical miles, 555.6 kilometers, enhancing its threat detection and tracking capabilities. To support extended missions, the E-7 Wedgetail is equipped with in-flight refueling capabilities, allowing for longer operational durations. The aircraft also features eight operator consoles, with the potential for up to 10, 
to manage its command and control tasks. The mission crew is responsible for real-time management of military assets, while the flight crew consists of two members. The aircraft has an operational ceiling of 41,000 feet and a range of 3,500 nautical miles, making it ideal for long-range surveillance. The EEL-7 is designed for interoperability with NATO forces, featuring a communication suite with HF, VHF-UHF, and UHF channels, as well as Link-11 and Link-16 tactical data links. These systems support the sharing of critical tactical information between air, land, and naval assets, strengthening the UK's ability to contribute to NATO's air defense network. Already in service with Australia, South Korea, and Turkey, and selected by the United States and NATO, the E-7 Wedgetail will provide the UK with advanced AWNC capabilities far exceeding what ground-based systems or fighter aircraft sensors can offer. As the RAF prepares to bring its fleet into service, the Wedgetail promises to play a crucial role in safeguarding UK and NATO airspace for years to come.